Good morning. Thanks for having me on. Well, here it is. It's uh, is it still officially New Year's resolution season? <laughs> Absolutely. And that means it's the perfect time for you to come swing back through Maine. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. We love coming up to Maine. It's uh, always some of the greatest crowds. We have some great followings, amazing success stories that come back to our program. So we're really excited about it. Two of the biggest New Year's resolutions are yeah. losing weight, stopping smoking, and that's where you come in to help. Yeah, number one and number two resolutions are losing weight and stopping smoking. So we're coming up to do our hypnosis programs for both of those, and uh, we get some incredible success. Tell us a little bit about how it works. Well, let's talk about hypnosis for a second. I think the biggest misconception about hypnosis is what everybody sees um, in stage hypnosis, where you see people barking and clucking and going crazy, and a hypnotist having kind of kind of mind and body control over them. We actually go into hypnosis every day of our life. When we drive, we zone out. Um, when we read and we daydream off, that is a light state of hypnosis. Every night before we go to bed, we're in a hypnotic state before we pass out in that state in the morning before we're fully conscious. We don't call it hypnosis, but that is the time of day where your brain becomes incredibly open and creative to a suggestion. So all we do is we get people back into that relaxed, receptive state and we start kind of working on some of the habits that they want to do in the first place. So, I mean, people want to lose weight. They want to become non-smokers, even though they love to smoke uh, subconsciously. And we're going to help them, you know, get across that finish line a lot simpler because we're using the subconscious part of their mind, which controls their habits. And a habit is a thousand times more powerful than willpower. So everybody tries to do all these things with willpower, and that's why they end up going back to the old behaviors. So any barking or clucking that takes place will be totally voluntary. They can do that in the comforts of their own home. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> so uh, tell us about what folks can expect after the seminar. I mean, are you going to walk out and go, that's it, I'm never having another cigarette again? Uh-huh. How does it go? Absolutely. With the smoking, uh, for as far as clinically proven, hypnosis is the number two most effective method for stopping smoking. Heart attack survivor, clinically proven, is number one. And I don't say that to stress anybody out, but here's what we smoking. Right now, a smoker gets pleasure from smoking. They have a whole bunch of scenes throughout their day that they smoke, and they have an image or identity of themselves is that of a smoke. That's how they refer to themselves. So under hypnosis, we're going to break all the scenes that they smoke. Then we're going to work on their subconscious image to that of a smoker to a non-smoker. And here's what happens when they come out of hypnosis. All the scenes that they used to smoke, they're going to be able to be around, in control, even be around other smokers, not miss or have and smoke, and they're going to have the self-talk and image of that as a non-smoker. And what do non-smokers do? They don't think about cigarettes. They don't react to stressful situations and want to smoke. They just are cool without smoking. It's that simple. Now, Mark, is it, is it a total, um, you know, non-smoking? Is there various degrees? Is one session will take care of your smoking for good? Here's the key thing. Yeah. You want to come in with this, even if you're a little bit skeptical, because mm-hmm. I know a lot of people are about hypnosis. And even if you aren't even sure if you can be hypnotized, as long as you come in with this kind of mindset, right. you know what? I'm so sick of smoking. I'm so sick of giving all my money to the cigarette companies. I want to get this thing under control. I tried everything else. I heard good news about hypnosis. Let me see if I can get this thing to work. Kind of the mindset of openness. And then we're going to teach you how to use the strongest muscle in your body, which is your brain, to accomplish and get across the finish line that something we've struggled with consciously year after year. So they're going to walk out like this. You know, I could smoke if I want to, but I don't want to smoke. Uh. That's going to be the kind of mindset. Uh. Now, w- uh, losing weight's got to be a little different scenario because, I mean, you quit smoking, that's it. You're never going to do it again. Well, you can't just stop eating food. So how do you change your lifestyle or your, t- your habits for, for well, losing you, weight? You nailed it. Here's the thing with weight loss. Everybody has an image of themselves, and I always talk about identity or image because that dictates your self-talk. Self-talk is actually a form of hypnosis or self-hypnosis, and what happens is our image makes us automatically, subconsciously attract all the habits, whether they're good or not. So here's what happens. If we've grown up with an image of ourselves of being lazy, overweight, out of shape, not motivated, clubaholic, junk food junkie, uh, sugar addict, whatever it may be, and then we go on a diet, Here's what happens. We're actually going out and making changes against our internal image of ourselves. That's why we always go back to the old behavior. So under hypnosis, we're going to work on having ourselves as a healthier, slimmer person. The subconscious does not know the difference between information that's told that is real or in fantasy 
Uh, how many times have we uh, you know, had a dream and it seemed incredibly real? Then when they come out of hypnosis, here's what's going to happen. Since this information is programmed into their subconscious mind, they're going to want to do it, not feel like they're on a diet, not feel like they are have to count every calorie or, or, or every step or every glass of water. They're just going to automatically follow through on these commitments. It's that simple. So you want uh, folks to go to markpatrickseminars.com before the actual session, right? Or can folks just show up at the Samoset on Tuesday, the Senator Inn on Wednesday, and the Hilton Garden Inn or on Thursday? Well, my suggestion is this. Either way is fine, but we always sell out in these locations. Yeah. So we only can uh, take so many people. So if you're going to just walk in, um, I would suggest getting there pretty early, 30 minutes prior to the weight loss session. And the stop smoking session is when we start our registration. But we have pre-registrations online. So if you want to register at markpatrickseminars.com, it just you know kind of saves you a seat. You don't have to pay till you get to our program. The cost is forty nine ninety nine whether you attend either program. Um, if you want to attend both, you can. We have some people that want an overall health makeover. Yeah. Um, there is a separate fee for both of those. But you know how nice is it? Think about all the benefits: becoming a non-smoker, all the money you save on cigarettes. But I the most important thing is the ability to be an example to your children and your grandchildren and those healthy benefits, they'll carry on the rest of their lives, not just yours. So it's a pretty cool benefit you get. And the fact that you added a third seminar here, you don't really do two, you've got a third one, uh, also speaks to the uh, desire for Mainers to get involved with this. Yeah, we, we are so blessed to have such an incredible following in this thing, and I think it's this because we really, you know, this is why our seminar takes a couple hours, because we give you the insight into how your mind works, also how your body works, but more importantly, how to use this incredibly fascinating muscle, our subconscious part of our brain, so that we can get it to do all the things that we want it to do, as opposed to getting it to work against us, getting it to work for us. So it's Tuesday, tomorrow night, February 9th, 5.30 to 7.30 for the weight loss, 8 to 10 for the stop smoking, and those are the times for Wednesday, February 10th in Augusta, and Thursday, February 11th in Bangor. Tomorrow night, Tuesday, February 9th, of course, is in Rockport at the Samoset Resort. MarkPatrickSeminars.com is where you can find out more information. And you can get some uh, follow-up guidance and stuff like that even after you're gone, right, through your site. Absolutely. We stay with our clients as long as it takes. You can also come back to any one of our seminars for free reinforcement for the rest of your life anywhere in the United Good. States Good. on top of that. Well, Mark Patrick, thank you very much for uh, spending some time with us again and looking forward to uh, your visit here to Maine. Uh, the next three nights, go to markpatrickseminars.com for all your information. Thanks, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Thanks again for having me on, guys.